How's it going? We're back with another tutorial again. Native Instruments Absent 5 again. I'm going to show you how I made this uh, drum and bass bass patch. Okay, I'll show you the sound first with a little beat that I made and then we'll get down to how I made it. Let's get down to it. File, new sound. We use all three oscillators. Oscillator A changed to fractalize. It was a saw filter 3. So filter 3. Change this one to ratio. So that 0.25, so it's down 2 octaves. Push the phase up slightly. Three nine. Keep the mod in the unison where it is. Second oscillator. Keep this on single. This was a Vox Fem two. Vox Fem two. Transpose this down two octaves. Push. The f keep the phase where it is on this one. Keep the unison exactly where it is. Change this one was a sync granular. Change it to mid buzz one. Pull this one down two octaves as well. Push your phase up to the same as the first one, 0 0.140. Again, keep the mod in unison as it is. Okay, we don't use a filter for oscillator A, only B and C. So the filter for oscillator B, we kept it as a low pass. Just pulled it down to about eight two. Keep everything else how it is. Keep the feedback section on normal. We're not using the feedback anyway. Okay, this one we kept on a low pass two as well. Pulled this one right down to about three seven four. Push the feedback up to naught point five. And the DB up to four. That's the volume of this. Okay, and the feedback that we used was a ring mod, and it was analog six, which is one of these morph waves. Okay, we pulled uh, hertz. Change this to ratio. We did actually pushed it up to four kept the mix on one. Okay, that's it for oscillators and filters. There's no modulation yet, but I'll just show you what it sounds like quick. Just a dull drone at the minute, but everything's going to get better as we go on. I say the mod for oscillator A, we changed this to frequency shift, kept it on sign, changed this to ratio, set this to 2. The feedback we kept it at 0.35. The mod for this one was a frequency shift as well. Changes to sine. The ratio at 0.5. And the feedback kept it the same. This one we used a filter and we used a super comb. Kept it on hertz. Pulled it down to 80. And the feedback to 0 0.5 dB 10.8. Okay, the feedback that we used was normal. We kept the tone how it was as well. We didn't touch that page. Okay, that's it for the mods for this. I'll play it again. Still a bit boring, just pull the volume of this C down to minus 0 0.9. Okay, on the master channel, we used a wave shaper, kept it on sign, push the out dB to 5, push the phase up ever so slightly 0 0.06567. Then I used a filter, bandpass filter. When we modulate this, this is going to give us that 
moving sound that we had. Kept it on hertz, pulled it all the way down to 972. Kept the Q at 1 and the dB at 0. The effect that we use is an etherizer. I'll show you what parameters I did for this. I pulled the master down to about halfway. Push C up to about there. Tiny bit on B. Push A up to the same as C. Low pass high pack where it was. I pushed the wet up, pulled the wet back to minus 10. Dry back to minus 7. Turn this around on. Push the spread all the way up. Click the rotate button. Change it to 4.1. Okay. All I did was just push the feedback of this up to 20. And that's it. I've kept everything else at how it was, I think. Oh, I'll turn the filter on. Transpose this down one octave. Pull the hertz of the filter down to 4211. That's it, just kept everything else how it was. Okay, I'll show you with the effect, the etherizer on, and those two envelopes on the master. <laughs> Still nothing going on, but this is where we get down to it. Oscillator A amp and B amp were the same. I created an envelope myself, so I'm just going to load it for you. It took me a little while to make it, so you're just going to have to pause it and copy it. I set the grid to one eighth, lock it, sync it, and mode is release, and then you're just going to have to draw this just to get it the same. So I use this for oscillator A and B. So I'll load this template again. What's the latest C amp? I didn't do anything with it really, I'll just push the decay out. To one, give it a bit of release to about 1.5. Kept the attack all the way back. Okay, the only th other two envelopes that we use is a filter. So if you go filter master two it was. So if you click on this new envelope, filter master 2, OK. Again, it took me a little while to sort this envelope out, so I've got a template for that as well. It's going to be easier for you just to pause it and copy it if you want the exact same sound. Pretty much the same as the amp envelopes, it's just a bit more harsh with the peaks and the troughs, they're a bit more defined. I say, I, I always do the same when I do these envelopes, so I set it to grid, lock, sync it, and release mode. You're just going to have to copy it, just keep it to the grid, just get it as best you can. The only other envelope that I did was filter B1, which is exactly the same as this, so another one, plus envelope. Filter B1, frequency, load that same template again. So the two filters have the same envelope, and oscillate A and B have the same envelope. The only other one I did was for the uh, wet dry on the effect. So if you go to your effect, the etherizer, right click on the dry, create a new envelope, it comes up effect bow dry. The envelope I did for that. Zoomed in. Set it to grid. Set it to slide this time. Mode sustain. I didn't check the grid actually. Push the attack all the way out to about three. A nice gentle curve, so it comes in slowly. Keep the decay and the sustain up where they are. Pull the sustain up to about four, actually. Just give it quite a long release. Pushed it out just before five. So that's the envelope for the uh, wet dry for the etherizer. I say that's pretty much the patch done now. Then 
I'll play you it again, show you these envelopes modulating the filter. <laughs> thing we have got a set up is just the LFO quick. I didn't really use it for much, just a bit of pitch modulation. I'll change this to a saw filtered one. Change this to beat. Push it up to four. Push the phase up slightly 0.057. This is where I modulated the pitch. Just push the push the pitch up to 0.143 ever so slightly. And check B and C just for oscillator A. Eh? Check this little box here. Change this to filter super comb. HP. This just wobbles the frequency of the super comb. Push this up to 71. This one just for B. Uncheck the mass. No, there's B on both actually. Uncheck the master. This one I used a wave shape phase. Push it up to 44. This was for A, B, and C and the master. And then else was it was effect master time. Push this up to 41 actually. That's it. Check the read trigger. That is the patch done, so I'll play it again a couple more times. now if it was a bit fast there's a lot going on in this so I just wanted to get through it as quick as I can uh, you can always pause it and just look through go back over anything if you're not sure uh, yeah if you uh, got any questions just message me let me know any other tutorials you want doing whether it's with absinthe or massive or the virus uh, just let me know okay thanks <laughs>